Hey everybody, how are you doing? It is Friday. We're in the, is it the first week in March? No, this is the second Friday in March. Very good. So I hope your week has been going great. You've been setting your goals, hitting those targets. All right. As I mentioned on Monday, as things are changing, things are ramping up, um, more work and a different type of schedule is going to be needed post baby. For those of you who don't know, I am the marketing mom. Yes, I am a mother. I'm a mother of two beautiful girls and we are about to have our third all right so um as you notice again this week we've had a live on monday and we're doing a live on friday and we're gonna keep with that schedule through um our our a new addition but also you know as work is increasing we've got to level out some of our things and what you would realize in your business you will need to do that especially if you're a mom you've got things happening in your life you've got things changes new clients plus the family plus trying to you know manage all of the things happening you have to readjust your schedule it's not set in stone all right just remember that but keep in mind you know what are the important things that you want to get done during the week all right and that's what i really hammered this week to you guys goal setting and goal setting is sometimes something that we do for the year we do it for the month we do it for the week and then there are times when we're just setting goals for each day what it is that we're trying to get done each day all right so today what i want to be talking to you about is social media social media tip and this is especially for those who you know you think all right i'm getting my social media done all right you know that we're done we talk about okay fine um I just have to get my post out and get out the door because you know probably as well as I do that if you spend too much time on social media, you get sucked in, all right? You get sucked into the social media and then you feel as if you've wasted an hour on social media. Well, here's a tip for you, all right? And I like, you know, I'm a big fan of timers. I've, I've got a multiple alarms on my phone, got multiple timers set up, you know, for personal as well as business things. All right, and I want you to take this tip over the weekend and I want you to try it on the weekend when you have a little more time possibly and then see how you can implement it during your day. Okay, during the day. But I want you to create a timer if you've got, you know, a smartphone or whatever. Create a timer for 30 minutes, all right? And you're going to call it your social engagement timer, all right? And I want you to set it for 30 minutes. And then once you set go, what I want you to do is go and engage on social media because a lot of times we do a lot of posting, 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 but we don't care about what's going on, you know, in other people's lives apparently because it's only about our business. I want to post about my business. I'm posting my earrings. I'm posting my, my pictures of my hair. I'm posting about, you know, my makeup. I'm posting about my business and all these things, but we're not getting out there and actually interacting with people. And I've said this time and time again, and I'll say it again. Okay. You are in the business of people. Okay, whether you are a network marketer, affiliate marketer, a wedding planner, a cake maker, um, whatever it is you're involved in, a hairdresser, um, somebody who does hair and nails, all right, you are in the business of people. And the only way you're going to get new business is not by that really great quote that you posted, it's by the engagement that you are doing, all right. Now, Engagement works two ways. You've got to engage on your page, all right? So if you're asking questions to your fans, you've got to be there to, you know, chime in, hit a like button, hit a heart, give a comment back, all right? If you are asking um, comments inside of a community, so if you're part of different communities, I'm a part of several mom communities from my faith, Catholic faith, to um, my, my culture, Trini Moms, all right? So if you are asking questions in there, you've got to go back in every so often, okay? And this is why I say set the timer for 30 minutes because each day what you could do is focus on one thing, focus on your friends, focus on your family, focus on your groups, focus on your business interests, all right? And then focus on your page. And that way, you've got to focus on your page every day. But at least in the other areas, you don't have to spend... 30 minutes every day in each area so if you are engaging on facebook or if you are engaging on linkedin and why i say 
this part takes the time and this is what we call the social media time and I recommend you start with 30 minutes of engaging daily okay I don't want you to spend an hour on social media running down this friend running down that friend okay no we're not wasting our time that way if you are on Instagram building on Instagram spend 30 minutes going through posts looking at what people are doing liking posts putting a comment here tagging somebody following a few people okay and this is important in terms of building engagement because there's no point to your business if all you're doing is posting 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 but you're not engaging all right people want to know that you're real and that you're not a bot okay so the only way they're going to know that is if you spend the time engaging and the thing about you know what i like about all the social channels they have different elements they've got the element of your personal profile they've got the element of your business page and then they also got the element of your groups and one thing that a lot of people they join groups and what do they join groups to do they spam groups okay and we know that spamming groups is a no-no you join groups to get a taste of what 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 are the people interested in you join groups in an effect to do market research and then also to find potential prospects or customers okay now you're not doing that as I've said, if you go to a networking group, networking meeting, you're not going there and you're just handing out your business card. Hey, this is me, this is me, this is me, this is me. This is what I do, this is what I do, this is what I do. Come and buy my service. No, that's not what you're doing in groups. You're looking at what people are asking. So somebody may ask, is there an Easter camp anywhere around here? You drop a comment in. Is there, um, are there primary school applications still open for? You drop a comment in. Because what you're getting at is that people are interested in their children. Okay? That is, and you've got to have your little antenna up as what are people interested in. So when you come in and you comment on these different types of questions, or maybe somebody has a question like, how do I start a Facebook page? You could come in there and give some very technical advice if social media is your forte, all right, like it's mine. Or what is the trending thing now? We know video, okay? Video has been trending for the last year, almost two years, okay? And video images are coming up now. You know, it's like the gone are the still, still images. We've got to start using more images with moving objects in them, all right? Just a little tip there for you, okay? But engaging inside of your groups is very important because what it does now is it gets people to know who you are as a human being, as a person that they are going to know, like, and trust. And they're knowing, liking, and trusting you in their environment, okay? On their ground, on their turf. So that when you invite them over to your turf, then they're going to be more likely to want to engage with you. They may even do it themselves. They may even say, well, I want to go and find out who this person is. And they go on what we call in Trinidad here, Mako you on Facebook, all right, or Mako you on LinkedIn or whatever the case may be, and they will start to follow you. Okay, and that is very important. But again, back to the initial thing that I was talking about, you've got to spend the time. And what I recommend, I mean, we're going into the weekend. If you could do 45 minutes this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, great, do it. But what I want you to do is dedicate 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day, that's all. Set the timer and when that timer is done, get off social media because we are busy moms. We don't have time to be spending on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and all of those other wonderful things that can still help us grow our business. We have to come with the business mindset for social media. Set your 30 minute clock. Spend the time engaging. This is outside of your posting. Okay. You've done your posting. You've done your scheduling. And then you spend the 30 minutes engaging. Being a human being. We got that? Just be a human being, all right? Um, and once you've done that each day, you shut it down. There's no need for you to be on Facebook anymore. There's no need for you to be on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. There is no need. And what I always recommend as well, stick with one. If you're going to build, build with one. Don't spend too much time spreading yourself thin, okay? As a solopreneur, you've got to be able to focus zero in on one thing that you're going to do get good at it get good at it and then 
you're gonna be able to move on and build and grow and soon hire you know an entire team to do all of your stuff okay but spend that 30 minutes set your set your clock all right and i want to see what those results are if you're watching this as replay just drop in the comments replay below and thanks for watching liking don't forget to share this and if you are ready to sit down with me let's talk social media visit my website it's hillarydefreitas.com forward slash strategy you'll fill out a, um, a quick quick little survey so that we can um get to chat all right and see where you're at and what your needs may be for social media or to build your business whatever business that may be all right have a great day and have a great weekend bye everybody talk to you soon